Hey, Mike here with Skoltons Equipment. Behind me is a John Deere 6420. If you're watching this video, you may think, oh, he already did a video on that one already. It's the one with 150 hours, it's 20 years old, super low hours, wrong. This one's 20 years old, has 700 hours, and it's a different tractor, but it is, it's just as nice as the last one we had. A couple guys uh, actually in the shop were like, what happened with your tractor? Because we did sell that tractor with 150 hours, shipped it across the country. They asked, why did it come back? It didn't, it's a different tractor. We found another super low hour 20 year old tractor. Uh, it's a 6420 John Deere. A couple little differences between the last one we had and this one. This one is a power quad transmission, still has the loader. Uh, let's take a look at it. Still has a plastic on the seat, super nice shape. You won't find a nicer 6420 on the market because I sold the one that was nicer than this one a few months ago uh, and it went across the country. This one, the one I sold is just slightly nicer because it had less hours. This one, like, like the guys in our store, couldn't even tell the difference. It's that nice. Come take a look. So just doing a walk around here. The I don't think the loader was used a whole lot in the 700 hours, um, maybe a little bit. The main reason, we don't have a backstory on this tractor like we did the last one. Uh, you can see it's got the uh, single lever hydraulics, uh, original tires, of course. Um, the reason I don't think the loader was used a lot is what I find on the hitch here. It's got a mud flap or what you would call a hay flap. So uh, most likely this thing was hooked to a baler. It is missing the PTO guard. We're going to have to order that. Uh, but it was hooked to a baler, so that tells me most likely the loader wasn't used a whole lot. It does have a hydraulic top link, which is really cool. Uh, it's a quick hitch. It's not a John Deere quick hitch. It's a Jeffers quick hitch. Um, but yeah, tires are in great shape. It's got the flange axles, fenders. Uh, I like this. The toolbox. Uh, it's just, I don't know if it's ever had tools in it. It's that nice. Um... I like to always look at the bottom of loads, loader, uh, the parking stands. This thing might have been parked once off the tractor. Um, yeah, you got some typical 20-year-old stuff going on. You do have some a couple decals coming off a little bit, but it's 20 years old. Stepping in the cab, like I told you, it still has the plastic on the seat. Um, other things I noticed with lower hour tractors um, in general... You don't find a lot of dirt in the switches. Like the switches are really clean. Um, and this dial wheel on a higher hour John Deere would be a little bit dirty inside. Hard to clean those those things. Um, yeah, let's start it up. Starts right up, I didn't have to jump start this one. 757.1 hours. It is a power quad, it's got four ranges, four gears in each, four times four, 16 speed transmission. Um, yeah, it's got the left hand forward reverser, the loader with the little grapple button, pretty nice. Other than that, it's, it's just a clean old tractor. It's not technically that old because it doesn't have very many hours, but it's 20 years old already. And it is a 6420. Let's take it for a drive. B. Forward. Got a little paper on the floor to keep it clean. Um, as I shift gears, now I'm in fourth gear. It's got a uh, little over quarter tank of fuel. Um, let's see where the def gauge is. Oh wait, it doesn't have def pre emissions. I already knew the answer to that, by the way. Oh, what's in here? Oh, it's got some books. So the papers I found up in the uh, in the cubby. Looks like at one point the previous owner was trying to price out some rear wheel weights and put some notes and stuck them in the cubby. So I'm going to put them back. It does have a foot throttle which is really nice. 
I think that was an option on some of these tractors. When you're doing loader work especially, it's kind of nice. Um, one thing, I, the older power quads you couldn't do, you couldn't shift ranges on the fly like the modern day ones you can. You have to clutch and stop. And uh, yeah. on the new Kubotas, you can shift ranges on the fly. I am pretty sure the John Deere should probably do that too now. John Deere's a little behind on the game sometimes. Um, I know the John Deere people are going to be hating on me now. Anyway, she drives really good. Not much more I can say about this tractor. It's really nice. Uh, 757 hours. You won't find a nicer one on the internet. I'm pretty sure about that. That's a 6420 vintage tractor. I've seen the one that's nicer than this. And it's sold. Anyways, if this one interests you, uh, come to, come to sculptequipment.com. Go to our website. It's on the link below. And check this tractor out. It's pictured and priced. It's for sale. See you next time.